Tonight, we are getting our first look at the chilling videotaped confession from a man who tells detectives that he has the mind of a serial killer. Stefan Smirk pleaded guilty earlier this month to fatally stabbing a Fairfax County wife and mom in 1994. Northern Virginia Bureau Chief Julie Carey obtained the video, and we want to warn you that some of Smirk's statements are disturbing. Where do you want to start? Killer Stefan Smirk seemed almost eager to tell detectives about the terrible crime he'd committed nearly three decades earlier. That's when wife and mother Robin Lawrence was found in her home, stabbed 49 times. Her husband out of town, her toddler uninjured, alone for two days. You had made a statement before, and you said you knew you were going to kill somebody. You just didn't know who it was going to be. It was 100 percent intentional. It was November of 1994 when Army soldier Smirk left the Fort Myer barracks and drove to a West Springfield neighborhood where he'd partied with friends before. He says he picked the house next door, not knowing who would be inside, driven by an overwhelming urge. He told detectives he used a stick to jimmy open a sliding glass door, went to the victim's room, cutting the cord when she reached for the phone. Then he began stabbing her, using what he called his combat training. There's something came over me. I'm not going to say it. I were voices in my head. I, I didn't like hear somebody talk, actually talking to me, but it was like this overbearing thought in my brain that I, I needed to uh, I needed to kill somebody. Mm -hmm. I just had to kill somebody. I, I, I can't explain it to you. Smirk says the victim begged him not to kill her, tried to stop him. I know she clawed, she clawed at my face. Mm -hmm. I had a little bit of a scar here. I was worried that maybe she had some DNA underneath her, her finger. Smirk drove back to the barracks, tossing the knife off a bridge, throwing away his clothes. His deadly secret kept for nearly three decades until last fall. Cold case detectives John Long and Melissa Wallace were able to use advanced DNA technology to identify Smirk as a likely suspect. When they got to his New York home, he confessed, adding this chilling detail. I honestly believe honestly believe that if it wasn't for my wife and my kids, I probably wouldn't be a serial killer. I am a serial killer who's only killed once. But perhaps equally chilling, what he said when detectives asked if he wanted to say anything to the victim's family. Would you like to write something to them that we can provide to them? I, uh, how do I say this? I don't know you're recording. Uh, yeah, you can say it however you want. I don't feel anything for the family. Stefan Smirk will be sentenced here in early March. He faces up to 70 years in prison. In Fairfax County, I'm Julie Carey, News 4.